This battery has 2 kilowatt hour of capacity. It allows us to set up three different modes, storage modes, immediate consumption modes, or full control by schedule. All managed through a super simple app and the installation is so simple. I just need to connect two cables here, two cables here between my panels and my microinverter. That's it, video is over. This is designed for those that already have a small solar system, a balcony solar system with one or two solar panels, one micro inverter, and you are injecting your energy to the grid, probably selling at a really low price or offering to the grid. Now, this is a buffer that we can put in between our micro inverter and our solar panels and get two kilowatt hour of capacity that we will be able to control the best hours to use that energy. It's called the Powerfree H4 from Big Blue. I will leave the link down below. It has a maximum output of 800 watts and a maximum input of 800 watts. And usually energy storage systems are designed for bigger systems where we have our solar panels on our roof like I do have 10 kilowatt hour of solar capacity capacity but not all of us need that kind of energy so if by any reason by space or my own needs i can just install one or two solar panels this is a awesome idea <laughs> just plug and play and take full advantage of it. The Powerfree H4 has a power button here on the top along with the antenna. On this side it has two sets of MC4 input connectors with two MPPTs to connect up to two panels and on this side right over here on the other side it has two sets of MC4 output connectors to connect to the micro inverter. Now the installation is so simple as the cables that come from the solar panels will connect directly to the Powerfree H4, this battery here. And then we will connect the output cables that come inside the package to the micro inverter. That's it, nothing else to do. Connect two cables here that comes from our solar panels and then two will come out of here to the micro inverter and let's have fun easy as this now let's go to the app in the app we will be able to control everything and the way that we want to operate the battery on the main screen we can see the battery's charge level how much each panel is generating and whether the energy is being sent to the grid or not it also shows total energy generated and current savings based on the kilowatt hour rate that we will put in in the setting now in the status tab you can see the solar production and the energy sent to the grid per day displayed by hour week month year and total and when i say grid i'm talking about the house grid when it comes out of the battery to our grid not to the grid on the outside now any of these modes if we place our finger on the chart we can see the values in this particular case yellow for energy generated and the green for the energy that we did consume from the battery and then under options we will find the operation modes we will find the self storage mode which will first charge the battery and only if there's excess production the battery can't store anymore and it will send the power to the micro inverter so that we can use here at home then we have the self-consumption mode or immediate consumption that will send as much power as possible directly to the micro inverter with only the surplus going to the battery lastly the customization mode which is my favorite you can decide what does at each hour of the day to match your own schedule when we tap on a specific day we can choose the start time the end time and the power level that will be sent from the battery to the micro inverter so for example you can set a 50 watt standby to the grid during the day while the rest goes to the battery and during times when the appliances are running like a washing machine you can set up to go up to 800 watts and then lower it again at night just to power your standby by devices which depends on what we have so we can put 100 200 watts or something similar and this is just awesome because we can make full use of all of the energy that we produce and control exactly what we want to use at each time 
of the day. So the two kilowatt hour that I can storage right over here, I can use as a buffer. And this buffer doesn't have to be used all at night. I can have this buffer and use it during the day at peak hour. So I can use 800 watts during lunchtime or something like that when I'm having some machines working and then it will charge the battery again. And when I'm closer to the end of the day, I will have another machine working with 600 or 800 watts and then I will lower it down to the standby level and even if I want to zero injection. Depending on the country that you live, this will be mandatory or not. In Portugal, for example, it's not. I can sell to the grid or I can offer to the grid. On the systems that I use, I prefer to store my own energy and use it because we save a lot of money. This is just a matter of putting between our solar panel and our micro inverter. But on the other hand, if you are planning to put in a system with one or two solar panels on your balcony and you don't know which system you will get, which power you will get, because most of the time the power that we are generating goes to the grid, then this is something that you can calculate while designing your solar system. It doesn't matter if it's simple and small, it matters that we can take full advantage of of the energy that we are generating. And before we purchase any solar system, any solar component, we need to take a look at the law depending on the country that we live. Now in Portugal we have a law that says systems of 700 watts or lower don't need to register, although I'm in favor to register every single system because I will be allowed to sell the energy if I want to. But in this particular case, if you already have your micro inverter or you are going to install your micro inverter, your installer will register your micro inverter and that will be the one that will decide the energy that will be fit into the grid because the battery itself will receive the energy from the solar panels and will output a maximum of 800 watts to the micro inverter. In my example, I'm using a micro inverter of 500 watts at this moment for testing the system but what happens is even if I send 800 watts the micro inverter has only 500 watts which means that the maximum that I can use with that particular micro inverter is 500 watts with the advantage that I can control the power that I can send with this micro inverter only 500 to zero but if I use a micro inverter of 800 watts or superior I will be able to manage the full power output which is 800 watts what? So on the test that I've been doing, imagine a scenario such as this. I go to work about 9 o'clock in the morning or something like that. I will have a output of 50 watts just for the standby of my devices, connected TVs and set-top boxes and so on. And then at midday I will place in about 600 or 700 watts because that's the time that I will put my washing machine to work. And then I will lower down the standby once again to 150 watts and then later on during the day I will ramp up once again and put another machine and lowering down to 100 or 200 watts and leave it during the rest of the night just to go bypass those standbys that we have. In that way I will be able not to discharge the battery during the whole night but even during the day using a peak power at midday more or less I will have the chance to discharge the battery a little bit and then recharge it once again, use it again and then discharge and during the night I will probably deplete the rest of the battery using the two kilowatt hour of capacity and being ready for the next day to be charged once again and be controlled the way exactly the way that I want. My electricity here costs 18 cents per kilowatt hour. We will get about 60 kilowatt hour of capacity per month and having in mind that we will be able to charge the battery at full every single day. Of course, if it's really, really cloudy, probably we will not be able to achieve the 100%. But having that in mind, we could have 132 euros of savings per year, just the power calculated by the battery. We will save more because we will have 
excess energy that will go through the battery and will go to our microinverter i would round up to 100 euros having in mind that i will not be able to charge the battery every single day so it's not a bad return of investment i would say four years and something which is more or less what we can achieve from bigger systems like the ones that i do have that can support more power i have at this moment a total of 10 kilowatts of power which is a lot this is not targeted for that kind of system it's targeted for panels up to 800 watts more or less you can have for example 1000 watts on your panels just check out the specifications i will leave the link down below for the power free h4 website where you can check everything including the prices hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one